Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome to my channel Photoshop Photography and Lightroom. Uh, today's tutorial is very special because uh, I am telling you about how to make 3D icon, circular icon in Photoshop CS6. That is very very beautiful and very sleek icon. As you can see, if you are a web developer or a web designer, you can you can de you can use these uh, techniques to make your project better. So let's see how to do uh, this type of work in Photoshop CS6. So I have made a document, blank document, thousand by thousand, uh, high resolution. Uh, then I will go to shape tool, then select this ellipse tool. Click shift on keyboard, then move the icon. Uh, the purpose of shift is uh, it makes a perfect round circle it gives. So I want center. I will select both layers. Uh, choose this move tool, center align horizontally and vertically. Okay, then right click on it. Uh, before this, uh, okay, vending options go to then uh, I want color. So, which color I want? I want mute color. Mute colors are basically in this part in this center of uh, this box, whatever you want, any color. Suppose uh, I want this blue shade. I want mute color. I will try some other. Okay, I think this is better. Then uh, bevel. Uh, I want uh, size big 35. Then soft turn this effect. I will try some outer bevel. Okay, it is not working. Inner bevel is working. Uh, suppose in 3D icon, light is coming from the upper part of this uh, icon. So I have choose this angle that is already set to 92 degree. Uh, it's okay. Um, anything I want uh, that is okay. And color. And moreover, I want a gradient. I click on gradient and uh, black to white and uh, I will reduce the opacity for this uh, color overlay and it will blend into this uh, gradient overlay <clears throat> as you can see on the screen and uh, click OK <clears throat> now I want uh, shadow for this make a new layer behind this <clears throat> Then go to ellipse mark tool. Take a selection and fill this selection with black by pressing Alt Backspace Control D for deselect. Then uh, I will blur this layer. Uh, firstly, I will make a new copy for this Control J. Control J. Then go to filter. Uh, I will hide one of them. Okay, then go to filter, blur, then Gaussian blur. Okay, 37. Then I will control T uh, to change its uh, style. Okay, mark on OK. Now I will little bit reduce this opacity to okay, 39. Then I will also use this layer, second layer, then go in blur. This time I want 36. I will reduce the size for this to make more shadow in the center. Okay. This is effect as you can see and uh, reduce the opacity for this. So it's giving me a 3D look. So very nice. Then uh, again I will make a new Uh, I will uh, make a new copy for this 
control G then control T then I will reduce the size for this okay then right click not menu options I will close this uh, and I want to gray shade I will choose any color support this magenta okay then go to gradient overlay oh, reduce the opacity for this color overlay okay then I want inner shadow that is coming from the upper part as you can assume and distance size okay then I want uh, some uh, inner glow suppose this light is coming from the upper side and uh, here is highlight points then for this I will go to inner glow mm, I will increase the size for this suppose 16 and uh, choke 17 uh, 7 4 Then I want okay I will now check it so I think it is okay very very okay uh, now I want inner lines as well as some special effects for this I will make a new layer then go to ellipse tool okay then uh, go to select then transform selection I will set to any position as I want some make it larger click on ok fill it with white ctrl D reduce the opacity then uh, make a mask and use this mask uh, like a gradient I want I do not want uh, any this portion so okay that is very nice and uh, again make a new layer click on this click on this uh, circle and control click here and then come to again this layer fill it with white control D to deselect and then I will delete some portion for this um, click on uh, pen tool click here click here click here make a selection and delete the selection make selection feather 0 delete this by clicking control D uh, this portion is not deleted then choose this eraser tool erase this now reduce the opacity very beautiful <clears throat> then uh, I will make a new copy for this uh, I, I think I don't need it okay uh, I want uh, some inner lines so click on this whenever you click on this it is very uh, uh, required step click on this and then choose this uh, type tool whenever you make sure you have uh, select this uh, shape tool uh, shape layer whenever you move your pointer to near to this uh, circle then it will changing then uh, click on it once now shift then 
press this uh, line tool on the keyboard okay now this time I will firstly adjust the size for this then for this I will select all control A firstly one firstly I have to make a better size for this okay uh, and another thing uh, I have set it size 18 18 then I will make a new copy for this I want this line in the inner part of the circle for this I will make a new copy for this control G okay then I will control T okay then okay now I will choose this uh, type tool then again move your mouse click on it I want uh, white lines then click shift and uh, press this uh, line tool on the keyboard okay click on ok now this time I will hide this circle okay so that is very very beautiful and uh, it's a very advanced tutorial uh, so I will not tell you each and every step that is very basic and uh, you should understand this because it is a very advanced tutorial so right click on this go to blending options then I want drop shadow okay that is very nice uh, I want some shape a cat shape in its uh, circle so then go to this uh, shape tool custom shape tool and choose your cat or any shape you want I want this cat then uh, drag this okay right click on it go to blending options as I want same color for this click on ok then then I want inner shadow click on ok so as you can see uh, in this way you can make a very beautiful 3d icon so I hope you have liked this video and please please subscribe my channel to help me and uh, keep continue to watching Adam's creation channel thank you friends